Whew. All right, we got us a big tall one here. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up and check it out. Well, what's this here say? Fragile. It must be Italian. All right, this one's a little bit unusual again, and I'm really excited about this one. All right, spoiler alert before we even get started in this video. This is now my new favorite battery. You're going to want to watch till the end and find out why. All right, what we got here is our Orient Power Lithium Iron Phosphate Battery, which is a 12.8 volt, 230 amp hour, which amounts to 2,944 watt hours. The rest of this has got a nice metal case here and nice uh, carry handles to uh, cart this around. It's surprisingly lightweight for its capacity. It's still, you know, kind of heavy, especially being a metal case, but I was rather surprised at how lightweight it actually was. All right, let's go ahead and get a weight on this here while we're here. All right, we're looking at 55, 55.89 pounds. And that may sound like a lot, but remember, we're talking about 230 amp hours here. You may not have ever heard of Orient Power before, but they're a pretty well-known uh, brand name in the higher end uh, batteries of the 48 volt batteries. They're the, these are the guys, I'm not exactly sure what the association is with Jacopier batteries. I, I believe these are the makers of the Jap Jacopier uh, 48 volt server rack batteries. So this is a professional grade battery. And that's evident right out of the gate with these terminals. These, these are so awesome, the way these terminal works, uh, terminals work. Let's go ahead and get this set up here, and I'll show you how those connect together. All right, so the way that this works is these are the, the terminal protective covers, and they have this little lip on here and this little groove that pops right over this part right here. And they're, they're nice and popped on there real good. And what's nice is that on a regular traditional group 31, group 24 type batteries is that there's a, there's a space right here that still when things get down here, there's a potential to get shorted out if something got jammed in here. So this raises the, raises the height so that that doesn't happen. Because you know, it's not gonna short if it hits these screws, but that gives you this room in there that, so it's completely covered even from things coming in from the sides. I just love how that is. So much safer. Whoops, damn. And that right there is why you want to use one of these uh, resistors to pre-charge the capacitors in the inverter to avoid getting that shock that you just saw happen right there, assuming that showed up on camera, I'm not sure. And then it kind of doesn't matter what angle your, your cable's coming out at, you just line that up around the cable and pop that on there and it's a beautiful thing. All right, I already got this fully charged up here and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and run a capacity test and I'm going to let you know about some new and exciting stuff that we're doing here on the channel, my wife and I together and we'll go ahead and run the capacity test and uh, we'll show the results of that as it's, as it's going in uh, you know, hyperspeed and uh, talk to you about some of the cool things that we got coming up at the same time. Let's get that started. All right, before I get into this video too far here, I wanted to take a moment to invite you to join my wife and I over on Discord. We really want to create a sense of community around our YouTube channels. So we went ahead and set up a Discord server as a place where we can have some casual conversations with all of you guys and do some live audio and video chats and stuff like that once in a while and get to know each other. We're on Discord all the time, so it's a great way to engage with us. So if you want to check it out, we'd love to have you join us over there on Discord. To do that, just search your device's app store and install Discord if it, you don't have it already installed. Once you get it loaded, you can pause this video and scan this QR code right here. Or if you don't know how to do that or that's too complicated, I'll also drop a link down in the description below. You can click on that to make it a little bit easier. So either way, QR code or link in the description, they both do the same thing. It'll take you to the Discord server. You'll be prompted to join the, the group agree to the rules, and boom, you're in. That's all there is to it. And if any of that's a little bit confusing, feel free to leave me a comment down below, and I'll be happy to help you out and get you started. So let's get back to the video. 
All right, we exceeded our 230 amp hour rating on this battery and we achieved 235.5 amp hours. So that's pretty good, we've exceeded the capacity. Oh, one thing I forgot to show here in the other part was this, there's a power button on this battery that you can turn it off and on. So that's pretty cool. And this is your Bluetooth uh, device name. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this app here. So here's our battery. Go ahead and connect to it. So as you I already have this completely recharged here. And it has the rated capacity, 230 amp hours. You see I've done one cycle here, so it'll keep track of your cycle count so you know how long your battery is going to last. And then you can go up to here, there's little triple dots, and you go into the details, and the password here is six 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 sixes. And what I like is that you can see the individual cells and the state of each cell and the charge of each cell. You get the date of manufacture and uh, you know all this information here that you can see. Let's go ahead and uh, put a load on this. You can see what the app looks like when it's under load. I went ahead and hooked this, uh, hooked my battery charger up, charging that uh, Time USB battery that is low, and which is why I'm replacing it. The 200 amp hours I'm finding is not quite enough. I think 230 amp hours is going to be just right, and going to fit in my space much better. So you can see here, you've got your voltage, uh, the, the current voltage of the battery, the uh, current rate that's coming out, so it's a negative 41 amps. The only thing I do wish this had is like a, a power station has where it shows you how much time you have left on the battery at the current uh, usage rate. But I don't think most of these apps on the batteries do that. I wish they'd all kind of add that feature. I really find that handy with the uh, portable power stations. One thing that's nice about having a Bluetooth enabled battery is it gives you this percentage left of the battery. So this replaces what you would normally need to do is to, uh, to use an external shunt, which is an additional cost to, to get a shunt. So the little tiny bit extra that a Bluetooth battery costs, I think is worth it, especially if you're using just a single battery. And I intend to use that all the time in my application. All right, I'm excited about this battery. I'm going to use it to replace the system I've had in place powering this solar-powered YouTube studio, which I'm going to make a video about here coming up pretty soon. So this is a nice compact size here, and uh, it's going to be the perfect replacement for what I've been using, which you can see right here. And you can see how much room that battery there is taken up. This is going to take up significantly less room on my shelf unit that I have right there. And I'm really excited about getting that started. Let's go over the, the size of this. All right, now just for comparison and the size here, this is the watt cycle 12 volt 100 amp hour battery. And we'll go ahead and do the measurements on this so you can see what we're talking about here. Again, this is 10 inches. This is 11 inches, so it's an inch wider. This is seven inches, and this is seven and a half, three quarters of an inch. It's there, half an inch difference. And then uh, the height is, again, going to the top of the bolts here, about nine inches, and this is about 13 and a half inches. So not that much bigger as far as the footprint goes than a 100 amp hour battery so you, it's all in the height so if you have a, an application where you can you need uh, to gram as much power as you can into a small footprint but you have extra height this right here is the perfect solution to that I'm, I'm super impressed with the size of this battery alright so let me give you my final thoughts on this battery it has this nice rugged metal case here and you can open this up with the uh, that's one of the square bits and take this lid off of here I don't happen to have one of these square bits right now or I'd take it off and show it to you. But, uh, you know, I've watched some other uh, review videos that have pulled this lid off of here. And so I can tell you what's inside here is nice, heavy duty, two gauge wire. That, that's really, really nice two gauge wire on the inside here. Going to an Orient Power branded BMS. So they make their own BMS. And again, with the, the 200 amp BMS that's in here, that allows you to run something like a 2000, 2500 watt inverter on a single battery which is something I would never recommend you do 
on a 100 amp hour battery with a 100 amp BMS, you, you need to stick to a, a thousand watts or lower on, on one of those batteries. So with a single battery, you're capable of doing the important things that I feel like you need to be able to do with a solar system is cook and that sort of thing. And a lot of cooking devices are up to 1800 watts. So 2000 watts to me is kind of the starting point for a small, really functional system. And uh, that's, what this, that's what this provides for you. And a, a typical system with a 100 amp hour battery, I would still recommend that you buy at least two of those. Uh, and this one here, you can get by with a single battery, uh, you know, depending on your power needs. But with uh, two of these, you really, really are, have a good sized system for a small RV, tiny home or whatever. And you can do quite a bit with that. And with the footprint size here to make this fit in a really compact spaces, as long as you have, again, the extra little bit of height, which I, I think that is most spaces for the most part, you know, depending on what your situation is. Um, and then the, the terminals here and these terminal covers are really cool. Uh, that, that's, a, that's a big upgrade to me from the typical, you know, um, lithium iron phosphate batteries that we're used to seeing on my channel here. So it has all the bells and whistles that I want in a battery. The Bluetooth, the uh, low temp protection, this metal case, a good size footprint. And one thing that's important to me is a price that is, that is fair. And that's one of the best things about this. I feel like the price is pretty incredible. At uh, Right now it's 480 bucks on their website. Now it shows something different when you go there. It's like they're, uh, there's like a sale price or something. You can't see the sale price till you add it to your cart. But right now, add it to your cart and you'll see it's in there for 480 bucks. And I think like 40 bucks shipping or something like that. But I, I don't think they charge tax. So that kind of offsets the shipping. So I think 480 bucks is a really good price for a battery of this caliber. With all the features that it has, I'm really impressed with it. And the 230 amp hours and the 200 amp BMS it's a really, really good start on a really nice system. So as of right now, this is probably my favorite lithium iron phosphate battery, and I wouldn't hesitate to recommend it. I do have some other really great batteries also that I really, really like. So I don't want to diminish those either, but those ones are generally cheaper is the, one of the main reasons that it still has a lot of good quality stuff in them, and they're a really, really great price. But with all that this has to offer, it's not that much more. But I understand everybody's budget's a little bit uh, different. But if I had the extra money that's just a few bucks more, I would recommend choosing this one over even my other favorite batteries that I have done videos on in the past. So you'll be seeing a lot more of this battery in some upcoming videos of mine that I have planned where I'm going to have an ongoing series of, of what it takes to run an off-grid uh, computer studio. I have a gaming PC and uh, for my video editing and that sort of thing and we're going to keep track of that kind of on a regular ongoing basis to see what kind of power it's using day by day, what the weather conditions are and that sort of thing to give kind of a realistic expectation of what you can get out of a system and then we're just going to keep tweaking and modifying that system over time to compare the differences and kind of get you uh, provide some information about a real life scenarios of what can be done with a small solar system. All right, so winter's coming, and I did a review a few months ago on my favorite solar charge controller that offer, also offers cold temp protection that you might want to check out. I'll drop a link to that right here, uh, so you can go check it out. And uh, you pair it up with this battery and these solar panels down here from this video, and you got yourself a really awesome system. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video.